Good morning, boys and girls. I'm Nathan Ballantyne, and I represent you and your family down at the State House. Many of you have probably visited, and that's where I spend most of the time from January to June, voting on many things that uh, have an impact on your daily life. Things like roads, things like schools, and things that your mom and dad might talk about a lot, and that's called taxes. I'm here today to read a book to you, and it is called If Kids Ran the World by Leo and Diane Dillon. Let me just, just a second. There we go. All right. If Kids Ran the World by Leo and Diane Dillon. Let's check this out. It's my first time reading this one. If kids ran the world, we would make it a kinder, better place. Maybe we'd run the world in a big tree house and everybody would be welcome. We'd take care of the most important things. Does anybody have a tree house? I never had a tree house. I always wanted one. Look at all of them up there. Can y'all see that? We know people are hungry, so all over the world, everyone would have enough to eat. The food would taste delicious, and it would make people healthy and strong. Kids who had extra food would help bring it to people who needed it. That would be a nice place. Everyone would have a safe place to live. Bad housing would be fixed, and new housing wouldn't ruin the land or sea. See all these houses? This looks like this is going to be a two-story house. You got people up here. You got saws. Y'all see, see the pets? How many of y'all have pets out there? We've got two pets at my house, Jasper and Berkeley. They're Boykin Spaniels. They actually talk to us too, by the way. No matter how sick people were, they would have the medicine they needed. If you were lonely in a hospital, kids would come visit you and let you play with pets. So there we are talking about pets again. Somebody friendly would help you with a big smile. Everyone would laugh a lot more. Kids would have more picnics and games and funny books and movies. People would spend more time playing and less time worrying. No bullying would be allowed. You could climb trees or dress up and dance and sing just for fun. Kids could act very silly. Look at some of these kids. What is that? Is that an Indian? A little astronaut there? Y'all ever dress up at home when you have time? All children would go to good schools like River Springs Elementary, where every teacher was nice and had lots of books, music, and art. Classes would be exciting and fun. Schools would serve yummy meals and have great sports and big playgrounds. Kids would love schools. Well, y'all, y'all have already got this place. It's like y'all running the world here at River Springs Elementary. Y'all have got great teachers, great schools, and great playgrounds. People could wear any kind of clothes, and no one would tease them. I hope nobody's a bully around here. If y'all know of a bully, y'all need to report that to a grown-up. Children would all live with people who love them. That sounds like a great place. More forests would be planted and protected. All the beaches, pools, and parks would belong to everyone. There would be no clubs or places that kept some people out. Friendship, kindness, and generosity would be worth more than money. That sounds like a good place with kids ruling, running the world. Let's see, we've got a little dolphin here. People would take care of the planet and animals and plants. We need to do a better job of that than we do now. Nobody would throw trash on the ground. Do any of y'all throw trash on the ground? I hope y'all don't. If you do, you're, you get in trouble. Do not do that. And keep your rooms clean, too, by the way. And they wouldn't throw trash in the ocean or make the air dirty either. Wow. People would have religious freedom and nobody would punish them or call them names. Everyone would learn happiness and being thankful. Even if they were busy, people would remember to stop to see the beauty of a sunset or a rainbow. I haven't seen a rainbow in a while. Do y'all see rainbows when it comes out, when it rains? Sometimes we have a lot of them here in Irmo and Chapin. All over the world, people would feel safe with one another. People would live in peace together. No more hate. Everybody would learn how to forgive. 
Wow. If kids ran the world, would these things be possible? Yeah, we think so. Because kids know that everyone can learn to share. Kids know how to try to do their very best. And kids know that the most important thing in the world isn't money or being king or queen or pushing other people around. It's love, giving it, sharing it, and showing it. Y'all see all the people there? That's what the world could look like with y'all running it, which y'all will one day. And that's why if kids ran the world, we'd make it a wonderful place for everyone to live. How about that? This is an awesome book here, If Kids Ran the World. Y'all can check this out at your library. Maybe take it home and show your parents. Because in a few years, before y'all get too, too old, y'all will be running the world and y'all can make it a better place. Thank y'all for letting me read today. I hope you'll remember that reading is to the mind what exercise is to the body. So be sure to stop by the library and check out as many books as you can and remember to return them on time. Thank y'all.